this is Marto. In this video, I will show you the game between Serafino Dubois and William Steinitz. This very beautiful chess game was played in London in 1862. Serafino Dubois had white pieces and he started with e4. William Steinitz played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, Italian game. Two knights defense, d3, bishop to c5, Dubois castle at kingside, d6, white to move. c3 is the most popular move nowadays. Dubois played a bishop to g5. This move never became popular. Why? Maybe we can find the answer in this game. h6 was played. Bishop to h4. g5. Bishop to g3. Black to move. How would you continue? Perhaps knight to f5 comes to mind. Steinitz played h5, threatening h4, but the problem is the pawn on g5 is not defended. Knight takes pawn on g5, and the threat is bishop or knight takes on f7. How to defend? What would you do? Steinitz played h4, attacking the bishop. Knight takes pawn on f7, forking the queen and the rook. Black to move. For the purpose of the exercise, let's call this the most critical position of the game. Black to move. How would you continue? Well, queen is more valuable piece than rook, so queen to e7 comes to mind. Do you agree? Queen to e7 looks like a sense of rule, better to lose the rook than the queen. This is another move played in the game. Steinitz played the unthinkable. Pawn takes bishop. Knight takes queen. Black to move. What did black have in mind when he sacrificed the queen? King takes knight. No. Steinitz played bishop to g4, attacking the queen. Queen to d2. Database is showing that this same position has been reached seven times in recent years. Every time, black continued with knight to d4. I think they saw this game. Knight to c3. Let's call this the most interesting position of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Stanis played knight to f3 check. If king goes to h1, what happens then? Then rook takes pawn on h2. Checkmate. So, Dubois captured the knight. Bishop takes pawn. Threatening pawn takes pawn. Checkmate. h takes on g3. Black to move went to checkmate in one. Checkmate. What a game. This game reminds me of walking on a tightrope. How many moves did you guess? What would you do in this position? I guess most people who didn't see the game they would play queen to e7. 
but now after seeing the game you know that this works what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your king content bye for now